We use pulleys in our home builds to guide and manage the movement and direction of our control cables within the aircraft. Pretty simple and maintenance free. However, is it possible for the cable to jump and fall out of the pulley groove where it belongs? What would make it fall out and why would this happen? If it did fall out, would you be able to set it back in the groove? Do you have physical access to the pulley's location? This pulley is buried inside the tail of this fuselage, mounted upside down. How much trouble would it be to get access if it was ever needed? Here is the pulley retainer I have created and installed. It is nothing more than a piece of 20,000 aluminum strip that I bent, drilled a hole, and what this does is prevents this cable from hopping out of the pulley. Now you might think, well, it probably shouldn't ever do that, it's under tension, but I've already had it happen once where I was undoing the inner end of the cable to make an adjustment, and this becomes very slack and it falls down off of the pulley edge and into the crack between the metal and the pulley. And because this whole area is riveted up, you'd never be able to get back in here very easily without undoing lots and lots of rivets. So I wanted to make sure this never happened and it was certainly easy to do. Here are some pictures from Eric Newton who built a Bearhawk patrol home built aircraft using pulley guards that he fabricated. Note that the cable cannot fall far from its groove as it is retained by this metal strip we call a pulley guard or a cable guard. This picture shows using two guards as the cable makes a more drastic turn and needs further protection. The fabrication process is simple as you typically will not find these available for purchase. You just make them yourself. You can use a piece of aluminum sheet that is 25 thousandths or more in thickness. The first bend is shown being marked so that we just clear the edge of the pulley. Bending is easy by hand or pliers. Just make sure the bend has a bit of a radius in it, not too sharp so that we don't entice a crack at the bend. We now make a mark for the second bend so that we have enough width for the pulley. Here we're making the bend with a seaming pliers. Remember, not too sharp of a bend. Then we can mark the location of the two holes in the strip that will be shared with the bolt holding the pulley in place. A dual guard is fashioned in the same way and positioned as desired. Remember, just because an aircraft kit does not include pulley guards with their inventory of parts, that does not mean you should skip these. Save yourself a headache in the future with a little pulley guard wherever you do not have easy, quick access to the pulley.